at my my sleep shirt. You're here because let me tell you why you're here. You are trying to figure out how the f word to style half wigs and have them still look cute because they are difficult to style and how to keep your wig from doing this when it's windy outside because this is ridiculous. I'm gonna show you how to do those two things. This is how Gordon Ramsay shows you numbers. He goes, three, two, one, and stop. That's what Gordon Ramsay does. When I first started YouTube, I used to kind of hate what I looked like from the front. So I would deadass try to stay like this in videos. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. But I'm not like that anymore. Now I think I'm super sexy and gorgeous and gorgeous and beautiful. Um, you guys are literally dirty down. Thank you. What the hell y'all had going on? Okay, I feel like my favorite look tends to be this clip thing I do in the center. But firstly, before you do anything with a half wig, you need to make sure that your half wig is secure before you start playing around and doing stuff because she will embarrass you. So I just take bobby pins, classic bobby pins. Someone on TikTok told me to bend them though and I tried it and it was really good but it was just too much effort and it made my fingers hurt so I didn't want to keep doing it. But honestly, if you're not lazy, they do lay a little flatter and a little better if you bend them and they kind of, you can kind of see I bent this one a little. Not really. Just pretend that you saw it because I actually did bend just this one. And you want to make sure you're every, if you're going to do styles, you need to make sure she's pinned down. You really do. Like make sure she's pinned. I get to cheat a little with this wig because it has lace, but as you can see, I don't even use the lace. So it's kind of cheating. It's kind of not. Okay. So all I do for this style, it's super simple, but I feel like it looks like a different style still. And it looks very cute. I've literally done this style on carpets. I just take any old cute larger size clip. I feel like this is considered a larger size clip because they also have smaller versions and it's not a claw clip. It's very tiny. I'll pinch together some of the hair that's congregated at the center. And this is so cute if you have like colorful clips i just don't have colorful clips that are this size so i tend to use these brown ones or clear ones or if i have black hair or blonde hair i'll use black ones so that you can see the clip i cut the bangs on this terribly so the front looks crazy but y'all know y'all know i does this normally it's just a super quick and easy way to make such a simple wig look a little bit elevated it's it's honestly nothing too crazy but i do like the style i think it looks super cute and it looks like just something cute and fun that you did really fast but still made a difference Next, now I'm gonna show you what I do with two of them because I actually do something with two of them. I said, I said on to the next and I was putting clips in my hair. Yeah, that's definitely the next. Okay, next I'm gonna do two little clips, but I have two of the same clip I just did. These really would be so much cuter if I had like yellow or pink. And I'm just gonna snatch up the hair the way I did the first time, but separate it. So you saw when I went like that, it's really so simple, just like above pigtails, but not really, but at the same time, yes. And it just looks so cute. Whenever I wear my hair like this, I get so many compliments. Everyone says the hair is so cute. Hey, this one baby hair is about to make me turn into the Hulk. This is so cute, isn't it? Me waiting for you to say yes. Okay, next up is one of my ultimate favorites, which is classic claw clip moment. A claw clip will really be my best friend. I did see this video that said, if you get in a car accident with a claw clip in your hair, you can die. I don't like when people tell me stuff like that. Just let me, I don't know, just don't tell me. I'll really just grab up. Now this is one of my shorter wigs, so I don't really do claw clips with it just because claw clips with curly synthetics look so much better when it's longer hair because it'll come out at the top. I can find some pictures of when I've done that with my longer wigs, but this one, yeah, she's a little short, so she can't come up as high, but she's doing pretty good for this being such a short wig. You're gonna take the hair, snatch it all up. I'll do the same thing I just did, but facing the other way so you guys can see. So I'm, this is me showing you from the front. And then clip, I tend to clip the lower part, especially if the wig is really fluffy, because if you don't, it'll just fall down. And honestly, usually I get away with these by just doing this because no one really looks back there that much. But if you wanna be extra careful, see it's so small back there, but it's there. If you wanna be extra careful with this, I would suggest cutting your perimeter, which I've made multiple videos explaining how to do that, but really it's just taking out the perimeter of the wig and cutting it short kind of like the front and that's how you make a perimeter so that when you do stuff like this people just see the perimeter of the wig instead of your hair oh but then let me show you from the back how that looks like you literally just grab it all up the higher you get it the more hair will come out at the top but it gets a little hard with the clips they tend to just pop back out like you're seeing and then you grab it all once you snapped it like you're gonna put it in a ponytail grab it all up. Sometimes, honestly, I'll just clip it on the side and it'll stay, but this wig is very thick. So I'm gonna clip it a little higher because I think down here is too bulky. And look at that. She's so cute. She's a 
She has grace. She's Miss Barbados. Next to Rihanna, because she's obviously Miss Barbados first. Next is just a classic, a true classic, a low bun. I take silky scrunchies like this because they're just so much easier to take off of wigs because they just slide off instead of ripping hair off. Scrunchie in hand. The lower the better because you know a half wig is not your hair. So you want to avoid as much of your hair being out at the bottom. And honestly, the lower, the more it looks like kind of like, oh, uh, what's that type of aesthetic where they wear the long skirts and flowy and they have their hair like this. That's how you get that. Isn't it so cute? Or I even do them to the side sometimes and I'll show you how to do that too. If you want to do, see how easy that came out? You don't get that without silky scrunchies. I'll just take it to the side a little more. Well, I guess this is more of a low pony than it is a low bun, but I don't even have to double them sometimes. They'll really just stay. This makes me feel like I'm in a 90s movie. Give me my necklace back. Mm -hmm. That's me. I mean, a bun would relatively be the same thing. I don't really love buns with this wig because I low-key just look bald because there's just not enough hair, but you can do like a classic bun. Not too crazy. It's really not hard. So it's easy. When I was in high school, I used to have a perm and I was so bald around my edges because my mom would not stop perming my hair and I would flat iron it every day and then I just had no edges. And then I had blonde bangs and my mom put relaxer on them and all my edges and my bangs fell out. Gotta love Caribbean women, huh? And Bajan moms. Now the one I feel like people actually care about is gonna be the high bun and I'm gonna show you the trick. And this works for lace wigs too. This is literally my secret tip. An elastic band, honestly, anything that can hold, you can even use like a regular headband. You just need something to hold down the back of your hair so that when you try to do this bun, the back is not flying up. Now, let me try to stand up so y'all can really see. I will literally go like this, grab up all that hair. Ooh, that's a good bun. I guess, again, this is a high pony. I really call everything a bun. Right? And then take it off. Now let me look at the back before you do, cause y'all be talking shit. Yup, look good to me. And if it don't, I really don't care. I go outside just like this. Boom, shakalaka. I do this all the time. And then honestly, I like buns more. And if I do a ponytail, sometimes I can literally just go like that. And it'll give that bun effect a little more. But I love a top knot bun cause I had a 4C Afro. So that was just not something I could never really accomplish because my Afro grew thick and not necessarily super long. My hair was long, but I could just never get a bun to look like this, which I think is okay because I think there's actually really cute styles you can do with 4C hair. I don't think I knew how to do those though before shaving my head. I think I started to discover how versatile 4C hair really was and how blessed I was to have it after I shaved my head. And now I just like being bald too much. I can't go back, but super easy. And then if you want a ponytail, obviously just untuck it. And if you want a bun, do the same thing. Like look how easy that comes out. That's what you want. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm good. Now, space buns. These are really cute when they're hired to me, but for some reason that just don't eat on me. But we're gonna use our little tip again. I'll, we'll try high buns and low buns. We'll just see. Ideally, tuck your comb. There's usually a comb in the back of the wig. Tuck that in before putting on the band. It'll really help it. So we've got our band on. You can also do like half up, half down, but I don't know, for wigs, they just get so tangled in the center right here. I never feel like fighting that to try to do a half up, half down, but it is possible. You just need a good separation. I feel like that's a good separation. You obviously, if you're going out, I would recommend actually dyeing your scrunchies. I just don't actually really feel like it because I'm doing so many styles, but it's really easy. It's really attainable. I'm just lazy and I don't know if I like how half up, half downs look on me. I don't think it's my look but you can do it. I'm sure it's cute on you. And then for space buns, I'm literally gonna just roughly part it down the center. The reason it feels like it doesn't really matter to me when it's parted is because these wigs are so matted by the time I start doing hairstyles, they just start, they kind of just start to look like I have really curly hair and it feels like people don't look for a part. Like, I don't know, like not because of their clock in my tee, but more because it just looks like the hair is so curly, you can't really see the root. Like it's just not a super clean and like kempt hairstyle, like the way people tend to do it when it's it's their real hair. So I think people just don't really notice and don't really sweat it. And then I like leaving that one be curl up. Then the other side, you can also just do pigtail. I did these two buns when I had my birthday last year and I did, how did I do it? Oh, I did the two buns and put ribbon in my hair. It was really cute. But 
Here's if, here's if I did space buns, really cute. And then if I did a little pigtail, you can really have fun with it. Like if I wasn't tired, I would actually do the styles properly, but I'm exhausted, but you get to plank. Also just for classic hair down, I love a good center part on certain wigs. And then other wigs just feel like they look better when they're parted on the side. But with this wig, I feel like this is a wig where the middle part looks best. For some reason, this just doesn't really hit. But then when I do this, it still doesn't really really hit even if I were to like really sit here and spend time fixing it it just looks the best to me when it's parted down the center I feel as though it looks the most natural and it looks the most and it looks the most real and that's really it I don't know if I ever figured out what wig this is I want to say it's the butter lace wig B-U- TTA, but I'm really not a hundred percent. I'm more like 74%, I think. Maybe like 72. But that's really it. That's all I got for you. Hopefully this answered the question that you had. What? Bye! Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments, turn notification, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm back again. 24 hours later to actually show you what I was supposed to show you in the first place. I think I just totally forgot. So now I'm gonna show you. All you need is some sort of bond or adhesive spray. You do not need to do this with glue. Do not take wig glue and spackle it to your head. This is adhesive spray, something that will come off if a little water gets on it. If you really wanna be rainproof, sure use glue, but not really. Like I wouldn't, I really cannot think of a scenario where I would use glue over this for this tip. So all you need is some sort of adhesive. I'm gonna use the Sports Edition Even Spray and a headband. Now, ah! all you're gonna do, it's so easy, is spray this along your hairline Ooh, having a conversation dead loud at night. Now what y'all talking about? And then put your band on. Remember, opening at the front and Velcro up, okay? So look, let's do that. Wait, my lips are actually super ultra dry. I like using the pharmacy lip mask. I think it's a lip mask. Lip smoothie, I totally lied. Mm, mm, mm. I think it's, it just smells like, it smells like a pot of honey. But anyway, I don't know if you even need to shake this. Does it say? It does say no residue. I don't know how true that is. It doesn't say you have to, 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 I also can't see, so hopefully it's good. You don't need much either, just. And this only works if you're styling your half wigs how I style them with the bangs. I just get just enough spray so that it'll grab all the areas. Let it dry for truly a couple seconds. Let your bangs fall. Hold on, let me put my laces back on. Let your bangs fall and then let that dry for, mm, five minutes and then I'll be back to show you that she's locked and loaded and locked down and locked and loaded and don't play with me. Okay, it's been like 10 minutes cause I opened TikTok so I got distracted. So you could take your band off and you'll see if wind hits you, it kind of just looks a little bit like edges and I'll prove it. See, secure, you got it in a fight. You're still good, so you're welcome. <laughs> You could leave it for longer. I kind of messed with mine a little too much, but you get the point. Um, add as much product as you want, honestly. I would do this when I would like go to the club or like when it'd be really hot, hot, hot outside. But I'm really tired and I kind of half-assed it, but you get the point. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, be part of someone next year. I'll do that good stuff. Bye.